Hi, this is Mark. I'm going to do a quick run through of VMware vSphere 5 ESX top command. Log in as root, put in the password, execute the command. By default, ESX top refreshes every five seconds. You can change that if you need to by typing in S and the numeric value. And I, I think that took S2. Okay, so now it will refresh every two seconds. You may also change the view that is displayed. It currently defaults to C, which is for CPU, but you could type in M, M to have it change to memory, N to have it change to the network. I only have one physical network card in this host and thus I only have one virtual switch you can also have the display go to I for interrupts D for disk adapters one of these guys is my CD-ROM attached to the host um, U for disk device this is the local hard drive this is a hard drive on a virtual machine on a different host altogether, using free NAS, by the way, iSCSI. Um, v for the uh, V disk, virtual uh, virtual machine V disk, and P for power management, and obviously C to take you back to the CPU. Once in the CPU, you could sort it by um, capital N for the group ID number. Oh, and by the way, group ID, the group is uh, fairly much the same as a process on other operating systems. Worlds are the same as threads. So obviously there are numerous threads within a group. The idle group has two threads because I have two physical processors. PCPU is the physical CPUs. I have two of them and thus I have a thread, an idle thread for each of the CPUs. System is a different group. It contains the VM kernel and helper is used to aid whatever the, the VM kernels need to do. Drivers obviously. Uh, oh, and I have vMotion on this one even though it's the only host I have. Uh, so I won't be having too much fun with that. Um, could also sort it by shift U for used CPU. You can also highlight a row by pressing 2. Notice how it changes colors. Go down to the next one two again, two again, two again. If you want to move it back up, eight, 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 eight. You could also uh, press four to remove a select row, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, pressing F allows me to take a look at the fields that are displayed. A, B, D, E, F are the ones that are currently displayed, judging by the asterisks next to them and how they are capitalized up here. So I imagine if we wanted to add additional fields we would just type in the uh, value of it. Uh, like G. G, that didn't work. Okay, G. Okay, sorry about that. I hit the keys like crazy so I didn't know what happened. Hopefully we didn't do anything damaging. Okay, so we still see that we have something highlighted. Let's go ahead and move that out 8-8 eight, eight, until it's gone. I've read somewhere that you can also uh, export all this information, port it out to a CSV file uh, and then pull that into Perfmon or Excel or some other uh, application that could display such information. I believe it's a command line parameter so you'd have to exit out and then ESX top and whatever it needs to know about it. Let's see if that 
Ah, well, that just started it. But you get the general impression. You could use the question mark to find out which parameters you actually need to put in there. And that's it for now. Thanks for your time.